These days, lots of people are trimming their budgets and looking for ways to save money any way they can. In many cases, that means planning far into the future, even after death. SNN Local News 6 reporter Jessica Jordan is live in the newsroom to explain. Well, Mia, these days, lots of people are opting for something different than a burial with a casket and a tombstone, and that's especially true for people here in Sarasota. On average, it is less expensive than a traditional burial service. More and more people these days are turning to cremation. Good news for James Jolrett. His company manufactures items used for various types of funeral services, from biodegradable casket boxes to urns. In the last two years, our cremation requests have gone up probably 90 percent. We're doing a lot more cremation over the last two years, and within the last six months, a lot more yet. Instead of a ground burial, Jorit says cremation gives people lots of options. He says the ashes can be put into fancy urns and monuments. You can even be buried at sea. These are our biodegradable urns, water soluble. A lot of the people are putting them into the oceans. Although the National Funeral Directors Association doesn't rank Florida on its list of states with the highest cremation rate, local funeral organizers say cremation is a growing preference here. We are ahead of the national trend. Typically, uh, the United States has about a 35 percent cremation average. In Sarasota, we're about 65 percent. Some local funeral homes we spoke with believe the growing trend could also be a reflection of people's concern for the environment. I believe a lot of people are just wanting to save some of the land space, not take up as much space as a casket takes. And a lot of people are going with the green movement and biodegradables and letting the bodies go back to the earth. Local funeral homes say Sarasota has a 65 percent cremation rate. That's comparable to the state with the highest rate, which is Nevada at 69 percent. So locally, we are higher than the national average. Mia? All right, Jessica Jordan reporting for us. Thanks, Jessica.